Yeah, here's a, uh, a mnemonic you can learn to help you remember the activity series. And the activity series is best uh, summarized by saying that any metal on the list can be oxidized by the ions of elements below it. This is from our textbook, Brown, uh, page 143, where they have a list of all these oxidation uh, reactions. So if a metal is higher up, it'll give up its electrons, and the metal below it will take the electrons. Think of it as a, if, to help you remember the image, think of somebody dropping something from the roof. The, the metal higher up on the, on the list is dropping its electrons to the metal below it. And the activity, the top of the list is uh, comprised by lithium and potassium, then barium, calcium, sodium, magnesium, aluminum, manganese, zinc, chromium, iron, cobalt, nickel, tin, lead, hydrogen, copper, silver, uh, mercury, platinum, and gold. So you see the elements that are involved in coinage have the lowest reactivity. They're at the very bottom of the list. How do we memorize it? We make a, a word out of all the element symbols. Lick, bacana, Magalmin, Zinker, Econism, PBH, QAG, Hug Pata. So make, make a word out of them and you'll be able to memorize the main ones that uh, will be able to allow you to predict the outcome of most single displacement reactions. Another way of plate putting this is if you took an iron nail and dipped it in a copper sulfate solution, which contains copper 2 plus ions, cupric ions, you will, the, the iron will lose. Um, the nail will lose iron atoms from its surface because they will have oxidized. The electrons will be given from the iron down to the copper, copper being lower on the list than iron. You see iron is higher up on the list. So the iron will drop its electrons onto copper. Copper will become reduced, so the nail will become coated with copper, and the iron will enter the solution. So you'll have the, the nail will eventually corrode. The nail will corrode very rapidly in the solution of copper sulfate.